Welcome to this video. So, last week I did um, two experimentation videos and I come up with a new series name called Experiments or Experimentation or something like that, I don't know. Um, but this week I'm going to carry on with that series and I'm going to do another two videos, probably, or hopefully. And it's going to continue on from where we left off. So, last week uh, I shown you how to power an LED, which is very fundamental really for electronics. But I explained um, how it worked. I mean, why you had to have a resistor for an LED, uh, why we had to drop voltage, uh, how it worked, um, you know, in what proportions voltages are dropped, how that influenced uh, the amount of current which uh, flown through, um, and um, stuff about resistance. And today I'm going to carry on with that sort of line of thought. But this time I'm going to use a variable resistor and we'll see the differences. Hopefully I'll be able to explain them. So I need a variable resistor to start with. Now because this thing here is somewhere near 100 ohms, I need to find the resistor which has got a low um, ohm rating, preferably. And I'm, I don't know what I've got here. I mean, 2K, maybe that's okay. So this is just a, a variable resistor, an old style one. 2K, that may do. What else? Preferably... I need less than that, but we'll see. There's another 2K there. Another 2K. 100K, that's no good. What are these ones here? Probably 10K. Uh, this was probably maybe 5K. Won't go into that. 10K, 10K. Um, don't know, probably 10K. Got various different resistors. What's this one? 2K. I've got a lot of 2K resistors. So the first thing I want to do is uh, test them out. So I've got my voltmeter back, or actually my multimeter back, and I'm going to put it into ohms mode, and I'm going to connect two of the probes, and first of all we're just going to see if these work, and then I'll explain very basically how they work. So here I expect to see 2K or less. So let's make sure they work. So zero ohms. It should go all the way up to two. Let's see. Keep going down. There we go. So this one's actually more than 2K. So let's put that up to 20. Yeah. So this 2K resistor can actually go up to 2.31. Alright, this next one. Yeah, 2.31. So you get the idea. Let's just dump some of those off. We only need one. So I've got my resistor, my variable resistor, and this is what we're going to work with um, today. So we're going to power an LED, just as we did last time, but we're going to use this now instead of the other fixed resistor, and I'll hopefully be able to explain one or two things. Okay. So let's get started. First of all, the LED has an anode and a cathode. The anode is the longer lead, and the cathode is the shorter one. I'm going to push the LED in anywhere, like that, that will do. So I've got the anode on the top. Then I'm going to push the variable resistor in here with the, of course, this pin here in the same um, track thing as the LED, so like that. And now I'm going to put the red wire in the same track thing as the anode of the LED, like that. And I'm going to put the blue one in the middle pin of the variable resistor. Then I'm going to turn the variable resistor right up so it should be 2K. Yep, it's full of resistance. Let me just zoom out a bit. It's better, isn't it? Now, um, let's do some more experiments. So right now, I've got my DC power supply set to 6 volts. Right? And, um, and I've got the, the two uh, wires ready. So I'm going to connect them up 6 volts. So make sure your variable resistor is set uh, right to maximum. Okay, and you'll notice that it glows, but it doesn't glow very much at all. You can see that it's pretty much dead. Right, so let's first of all find out what's going on here. So I'll just push this to a set to the side, and we'll find out what's going on. So as you may or may not have noticed, this is a different LED to the one that I used in the previous video. This is a yellow LED, and it has different specs. So what are the specs of this one? Well, there's one called forward voltage, so forward voltage and there's one called current draw or maximum current um, what is it continued current draw so the forward voltage for this one is 2.1 volts and the current 
current draw or continuous current draw is around 30 milliamps. Okay, now they are important because if you don't know the specs of your LED, then how do you know how to power it? I mean, generally speaking, they're all similar, but I mean, if I was to just assume that this could handle 3 volts, I'd probably kill it. But anyway, more about that in a minute. So we've got the basic um, uh, statistics or um, specifications now. So going back to the uh, experiment, just one second, let me just push this back in. You can see that it's extremely dull. Very, very dull. In fact, you can just see a tiny little uh, glow. Can you see it there? So if we just bring this back over here. So in the, well, let's draw the triangle. You don't actually need a triangle, of course, but it, I suppose it makes it a bit easy to learn and remember. So the voltage is 2.1. We know that the amount of amps is 0 0.03 amps, okay, so that's milliamps and this is amps. So of course there are uh, 1000 milliamps in an amp, so it kind of works that way. So we want to know the resistance, so 2.1 divided by 0 0.03, um, I believe it's about it's 70, uh, so 70 ohms. So theoretically, if this LED uh, had a forward voltage of 2.1 volts and it was drawing 30 milliamps, theoretically its resistance would be 70 ohms. So we filled in ohms triangle uh, for the ideal situation for this LED, but what can we do with this now? <coughs> well, we've got a variable resistor, we've got a 6 volt power supply, so what does this tell us? Well, it tells us basically that here, from the 6 volts, or 6.2 actually it is on, on my um, voltmeter, we need to drop around about 4 volts, so we need to drop down 4 volts. Right, but when we drop down the 4 volts, we actually want to keep 30 milliamps. 30 milliamps must flow through the circuit, so we want to keep that there. And this resistance, what happens here now? So if we were to replace this number here, this 2.1, with 4 volts, because we wanted to cause a 4 volt drop, if we were to put 4 volts there, and 4 volts divided by 0.03A, it should be around about 140 ohms. So it should be about 140 ohms. should be. And I can work that out pretty easily, because um, if, it, if they're around about a 2 volt drop at the same current as 70 ohms, then a 4 volt drop would be double that, 140 ohms. So therefore, I know that if I want to keep uh, 30 milliamps in the circuit, and I want a 40, uh, 4 volt drop, it will be this. So, I'm going to show you. Uh, let me get this out of the way. So, 140 ohms. So, I'm going to get the uh, potentiometer and put this into ohms mode. Let's drop this. No, you can't quite see that. I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Let's drop this to 140. 140 ohms. I've not gone too far. 100. Okay, 138 ohms. 137 ohms. Now, if I put that into the circuit now, it should glow perfectly, and it should draw exactly 30 milliamps. And it's the variable resistor should cause a 4 volt drop. So I'm going to show you this now and t uh, so you can see it for yourself. To start with, it is glowing. It's glowing perfectly. And I'm going to show you. So we expect to see a 4 volt drop and 30 milliamps, okay? So let's start with the voltage. So on the LED, we expect to see around about a 2.1 volt drop. Yeah, 2.2, that's cool. And over here, we expect to see a 4 volt drop. And there you can see it, 3.8, 3.83. Now probably, because I had 138 or whatever it was, if I had 140, it would probably, be, probably work out perfectly. But um, over here, the next test we want to do is the 30 milliamp drop. So let me just configure this multimeter. Break the circuit and we want to check that we've got a 30 milliamp drop now. Okay, are we ready? 
and there we go there you can see 0, 0, 0.3 just re try and reconfigure this I don't know why my multimeter does this but anyway there you go 3, uh, 30 milliamps try and do it this way yeah there you go that's better 0 0.03 amps 30 milliamps so it, the calculations work perfectly Ohm's law works perfectly so I find it really really useful anyway so what we want to do now is um, fiddle about a bit, bit more